now we want to focus on a bunch of India specific announcements. Starting off with what's new with Google Maps in India. The company has announced a bunch of AI focused features here in India that are all set to change your experience with the app. Now, Google Maps is something we use so commonly and they have new features like live view navigation, lenses, things that can genuinely be game changers. But what is it like in practice? Most importantly, how is your customer experience all about to change? Tech Today's Priya Singh finds out. You will get proper real-time instructions. The Google Map experience is all set to change for the Indian users. This week, Google announced five new AI-powered features for Google Maps in India. The tech giant plans to now focus on making digital mapping more intuitive and visually interactive using artificial intelligence. On a single day, Google Maps witnesses over 50 million searches across multiple languages that power over 2.5 billion kilometers of directions in India. Miriam Daniel, the VP and GM Google Maps, spoke to Tech Today about the challenges they face when it comes to navigation in India. We are really excited about the pace of transformation in India. And in the last couple of years, since we launched Street View in India, uh, the pace of innovation has just accelerated. You know, uh, with the power of AI that we're able to employ and all the technologies we're able to put together and the combination of Street View imagery and all of the data from our local partners about what's happening in India, you know, whether it is road networks, whether it is putting buildings on the map, uh, we've been able to bring a lot of new exciting innovation to India at a very rapid pace. One of the major features that the company announced was Lens in Maps. With the help of this feature, users will just need to point their camera in a direction to see all the major landmarks in that direction like cafes, restaurants and more with relevant information like hours, ratings, reviews and photographs. This can also help the user make quick decision like where to eat. It will roll out in 15 cities in India by January 2024 starting of course with Android. Another feature is live view walking navigation that will help you out in case you end up in an unknown location or are looking for a specific landmark. Google Maps will show you arrows, directions and distance markers on the maps. This feature is set to roll out in 3000 cities across India in 2024. Address descriptor is also something that will help users in India navigate more easily. With this feature, instead of the exact location, Google Map will give directions based on the nearest landmark. Google's Where Is My Train app, which garners over 80 million users every month and is used to navigate intercity train journeys, is also getting an upgrade. In a collaboration with Open Network for Digital Commerce and mobility app Nammaya3, users will soon be able to see metro schedules and bookings via the Google Maps. Google says this feature will first be rolled out for commuters on the Kochi Metro, followed by the Mumbai local trains. Finally, Google has also introduced a feature that can help minimize carbon dioxide emissions in India. With the introduction of a fuel-efficient routing feature, users will be able to identify more eco-friendly routes based on their choice of vehicle. Google says that this feature uses artificial intelligence to track real-time traffic data, road elevation and the type of vehicle engine to identify a route that limits emission levels and is better for the environment. While it may seem at first like incremental innovation for users, this feature has made more than a dent on the global stage. Google says that from October 2021 through September 2023, this feature has helped prevent more than 2.4 million metric tons of CO2 e emissions globally. That's the equivalent of taking 5 lakh fuel-based cars off the road in a year. The company is also relying heavily on AI to implement such features. 
I know AI is uh, kind of like a buzzword this year, but I just want to tell you all that for more than a decade, if not for AI, we, this kind of map making would not have been possible. Everything from giving you uh, ETA estimations based on traffic, historical patterns, current traffic, all put together is based on AI. Going forward, Google plans to focus on finding solutions to specific problems that Indian users face on a daily basis, like navigation across rural areas for two-wheelers and four-wheelers. It's good to see big tech focusing on India in a big way, and it's even better to see artificial intelligence being used for the right reasons.